Hey folks, today we are going to look at the Kinter 2020 A+. I'm going to let you know a little secret here. I've uh, already did the analysis on most of the amps that we're going to go into detail on a couple of years ago. Uh, not quite to the uh, level that I'm going to go through in this series, but I have a pretty good idea of which one the uh, winner is going to be. And instead of pointing people around at all the various contenders along the way, I'm going to cut right to the chase that uh, this one is the uh, best one on the market available right now. It's actually, uh, at least per my earlier testing, a tiny, tiny bit better than the original, which is uh, kind of surprising. But uh, uh, it's uh, really not half bad. Uh, I think the, the worst thing about it, if I... Uh, recall correctly, I'll, I'll do a little bit of testing here, but I'm pretty sure the uh, input RCA jacks are reversed. But uh, other than that, the actual sound quality and build quality is pretty good. So let's, uh, let's pull this guy apart, take a look at it, compare it with uh, the original Leapi, and uh, see if my uh, recollection is correct here. So, this should look uh, pretty similar to here. So, you can see it's got uh, it's got the real tripath chip. It's a uh, another zero two zero. Yep, it's a TA twenty twenty zero two zero. Uh, as you can see, it's a, a very very similar board. Uh, the caps aren't exactly the same model back here, but they're pretty close. Yeah, fairly similar. Chokes are fairly similar. Yeah, all in all, you can tell it's basically the same layout. But if you look closely, you can see it a few different areas. Like if you look right around in here on the original and then compare it to this area on the uh, Kinter, you can see that the traces are different, so it's not actually a direct copy of the uh, PCB screen. They actually did uh, relay it out, which I think is kind of interesting. So yeah, that's uh, pretty much uh, what you'll get from the innards. Other than that, it's you know pretty much the same. You got the LEDs up underneath here, just like on the original, and. Uh, yeah, overall, it's the same general piece of kit. Oh, yeah, if we look at the, uh, let's see, I don't remember how this works. Yeah, you can see the uh, jacks here are, you know, the Kenter's got the red on the bottom as opposed to red on the top. But if you look at the actual, you know, layout of the traces and the uh, back of the back of the jack here you can see that the uh, jack is actually laid out the same way so the uh, kinter is actually upside down the red should be on the top and the white should be on the bottom and uh, that'll prove out in testing as well that the uh, white jack on here is actually the right hand side so let's see yeah, I guess let's uh, hook it up and let's take some readings Seems like uh, this guy's got uh, over voltage protection at about 12 and a half volts. You can hear it. Click off and click back on. So 
Let's max it out here at 12.4. See what we can do. All right, so if we compare that with the uh, original LP twenty twenty A plus, and we look at our twelve volts, let's see. So it looks like our original twenty twenty A plus at twelve volts uh, hits one percent total harmonic on forty hertz at 69 decibels and the Kinter gets up to 73 before it breaks apart. Uh, looks like on the, on the high end, you're, we're about the same, we're at 112 decibels on the uh, one kilohertz signal for both. So the Kinter has a little better uh, bass performance and uh, you can see over on the output it's putting out uh, notably more uh, more to the speakers are as well so uh, that kind of confirms you know that it's getting more of a clean signal out so yeah I will uh, add details on this uh, little test here to the blog post which I'll link down in the description and uh, I think that'll do for today and we'll see you on the next one